Today's medical technology offers a wide and still increasing variety of implants that are required by a growing number of patients. As more and more implants are used in various branches of medicine, the number of post-operative infections is also increasing with corresponding financial consequences. In addition, there exists a growing resistance of bacteria towards antibiotics. These complications affect 2% of artificial hip joints, 5 to 10% of artificial knee joints, and reach 50% for cardiac shunt and stent operations. By coating implantable materials with silver compounds, it is possible to prevent biofilm formation and other complications due to the presence of bacteria. However, these compounds may be too soluble and even toxic to the host. Encapsulation might be very advantageous in order to increase the stability and biocompatibility of silver drugs. The main target is the development of novel implant coatings with antibacterial function. One part of the research consists of the synthesis of suitable nanocontainers loaded with silver and the second part is devoted to development of bacterial sensors. We then combine the results of the two parts to create novel coatings that release antibacterial drugs only when bacteria are present. Promising nanocontainers were synthesized on the basis of three substances. Cerium oxide, using a template process with polystyrene. Titanium oxide, using the Sol gel process. And silica, using the microgel approach. The nanocontainers obtained were all successfully used to encapsulate silver in the form of either silver nitrate or silver nanoparticles. However, the group system of choice is the silica material. The microgel method allowed incorporation of up to one silver nanoparticle into one silica capsule. The researchers term these systems nanorattles. Since those nanorattles showed good biocompatibility and antimicrobial properties, they might be the best candidate for medical applications. Antimicrobial assay was performed against Escherichia coli using the spread plate method on agar plates. These nanorattles inhibited the growth of bacteria at high concentration. The trigger system for activating the load in the nanoparticle consists of a long oligodeoxynucleotide with two complementary termini which allow its folding and a central part coupled with a shorter additional oligodeoxynucleotide, partially matching the first one and fully complementary to a known bacterial oligonucleotide. The bacterial oligodeoxynucleotide can steal the additional strand from the trigger to form a fully matching double helix. The free trigger can then fold, putting next to each other the two ends, which are modified with two chemical functions, able to react and release a chemical moiety. This product can then initiate the release of a compound able to combat and kill the bacteria in the proximity of the implant. A first direct application of the drug-loaded nanocontainers coupled with bacterial sensors is the coating of medical implants for various surgical techniques. Apart from the surgical implants, the novel materials could also be used in other sectors such as food technology, hygiene or human care.